Digikey and Adafruit present. This week's INMPI is from Antimatter Research. What is this lady, Ada? Yeah, this is pretty cool. They've got a great name and also an awesome logo. This is a bunch of cool hackers who do product development, and they came out with a product which is based off of the XMOS um, DSP system for doing um, audio pinpointing. Like it can do far field voice um, DSP work to make it easier for you to do voice recognition. Uh, I thought this was really neat because usually these kind of dev boards for voice recognition assistants are, are really expensive or you have to roll your own, but this one kind of comes ready to go, which is really nice. So here it is. Um, so this is the Acusis S from Antimatter, and it comes as just like a long, flat PCB. Um, there's lots of mounting holes, and there's uh, rear-mounted microphones. We talked about I2S and PDM microphones a couple I've NPIs back. And what's kind of cool is that, you know, there's this rear mount USB uh, at the top you can see in the middle. The rear mount USB, you plug it into USB and it just shows up as an, a stereo microphone input. Um, but that stereo microphone input is actually taking the audio from four separate microphones and like doing audio um, far field DSP calculation and filtering on it so that it's going to work really well with your voice recognition software. Um, you know, there's, you know, uh, as a service, software as a service, voice recognition um, systems out there, like IoT services, that you can take audio clips, send them over the cloud, and, you know, get um, speech to text back, or, you know, you can uh, try to figure out what people are trying to ask you to do based on, like, certain commands that your product or project may have. Um, but one of the hardest things about audio is unlike video where you can usually just add lighting or like control where you're, rec you know, you're doing your visual recognition in audio, like you can't add anything to make it easier to hear. You have to subtract, which you can't really do because you have like, uh, you know, dogs and humans and you've got traffic and you've got people loading the dishwasher and you've got the air conditioning going off. So all of this like background audio makes it really hard to do audio recognition well. And so if you can do any kind of edge processing, that'll make your results much better. So XMOS came out with this chip and this is like an all-in-one DSP chip that I guess you program it um, and it has uh, built-in support for four microphones. Um, it's called the XMOS XVF3500 DSP. It also has some Philips BeClear technology, I guess, inside of it. And you kind of hook it up to the microphones. Uh, I guess you can program it probably to do any other extra calculations or filtering you need. And then, yeah, it shows up as a USB device, uh, which is pretty sweet. Um, so this is the chip. And of course, you know, this is kind of, think of this as a dev board for this kit. Um, if you're making less than 1,000 or maybe 5,000 of your final product or project, you could definitely use this dev board just as is. Just plug and play, use it. It works with, you know, Mac, Windows, Linux. Uh, they have a couple demos with Raspberry Pi. So it definitely will work on uh, low power single board computers. And then you can also check out XMOS if you want to program this chip um, with more uh, custom calculations that you may need for your product or project. I think that's if you get to like the 5,000, 10,000 plus units, that's where you'll want to do it. Um, so, but it, you know, as is, it comes ready to go. You don't have to sign any NDAs, which I thought was really nice. You know, you just plug it in and it works. And I have one here. I thought I would just really quickly, uh, show it off. Cause it's, it's kind of neat. I like some of the details here. So hold on, Let me back this up. So this is the, um, the front. Oh wait, well, we'll have to show the whole, yeah. the whole board. So this is the back. Yeah, zoom out. Thank you. Okay, so this is the back. So you can see there's this like plug-in USB. There's also a microphone input so you can do um, echo cancellation. Uh, if you know you have a, a, a microphone as well as, a, sorry, if you have a speaker as well as a microphone, that way your microphone inputs can get, uh, have echo cancellation based on what the speaker is um, also playing. Um, over here, you've got one, two, three, and four of those uh, PDM microphones and they're panel mounted. There's a little programming header here if you want to reprogram the XMOS and this is probably some more GPIO that's available. Um, power supply over here, more mounting holes, maybe configuration and I don't know what this 
maybe a USB interface. And then um, on the front, what's cool is that there's these um, LEDs that tell you what the XMOS thinks the current like audio location is. Like it's a far field, it can detect where in the room it is. So right now I'm right in front of the microphone, so the middle LEDs are going off, but then maybe my gracious assistant could say something. Hello. Yes. Hello. So you see how it, the LEDs, when uh, my great assistant is speaking, is um, over here on these LEDs. And if I move over to the side, um, it can detect that my audio is coming oh, yeah. from the side. And then I'm over here. Yeah, there you go. All right, so we're a team. Uh, but normally I'm right in the center here. Uh, so, yeah, I thought this was like a really cool little dev board. Um, I, you know, it's, it's ready to go. I mean, it's definitely a demonstration of this chip and its capabilities. But if you don't need anything more than, like, the default demo, then, you know, this kind of comes ready to go. And you don't have to worry about this, like, ridiculous, like, 5,000-pin BGA chip. All right, so check it out. That's the Acusis 7 from right. and, uh, Antimatter Research. We looked them up, and uh, like Adafruit, they have a team of people, and they do cool uh, videos of things that show a little bit behind the scenes. So here's the team doing a time lapse. Kitten, kitten. Of uh, put them all in the boxes and more. They also have a great video of the test procedure. Um, often when you're sending out your boards to your fabrication house, these are not going to be, this kind of board you can't manufacture uh, with just a toaster oven because the, the pitch of the BGA chip is just so fine. So they sent them instructions on how to test the board. And it's mm -hmm. actually really handy. If you've never sent out a board to manufacture, you might want to check out um, that video because it, it's a really good example of the kind of information and step through that you'll want to give your board house uh, so when they manufacture they can test efficiently and get you the best yields and this was an unboxing of uh, the product you can see a little demo showing it works on a Mac here and uh, we also uh, found a video of one of their team members showing it off and all the things it can do so I'm gonna show that next Hi everyone, I'm Gladys from Antimatter Research and we made a microphone that is perfect for ASMR from across the room. You can hear me back here in a whisper. You can hear me back here in a whisper. You can hear me from here in a whisper. Imagine all the ASMR possibilities. And like all NPIs and all the uh, roads lead to one place for NPI for new product, DigiKey. It's on DigiKey site. Yes, and they've got a couple hundred in stock. I picked one up. Uh, so they've got plenty. Uh, you can definitely see the engineers having a really good time. And uh, they're also available for consulting. So if you want to integrate this kind of technology into your final PCB, uh, you can hire them. And they'll definitely be able to help you out to get the board you know, fully integrated into your own PCB design. Um, so check them out. Antimatter Research seems like a fun group of people. Yeah. Uh, short URL, digikey.com forward slash short forward slash Z112NF. And the part number is 2850ARAC-S1ND. And you can also search for, what's the best term? Acusis. A-C-U-S-I-S. -S yeah. S. So we do a segment about great search, how to find stuff. Yeah. So that's what you search for. Yeah. Yeah, and you can see, here's all the uh, places it lights up. Hello. Obviously robotics. Fun, uh, you can. I mean, everything has like a voice, yeah, thing for it now, yeah. So, okay, um, this, this knows who's speaking, which is actually kind of yeah. cool, right? It can do like uh, pinpoint location of, of where the audio is coming Hello. from. Hi, yeah, it's cool. All right, you can play with this all day. <laughs> all right, so that is this week's Ion MPI. Ion MPI.